far the most gracious, the most merciful. Mm. Um, God would not ask me to have a discussion. So I take his uh, uh, request that he's sincere. And there's many different religions. Hindus, Sikhs, Christians, Muslims. We all believe that we're, we're right. Now, I'm going to be very short. Um, what you'll find with most religions, they all tell you to do good acts, give charity, help the poor, help the elderly. All religions say that. Now, my claim as a Muslim, Muslim is, is that Islam tells you to do the same things as well. But the difference between Islam and every other religion is that when you look at who and what they're worshipping, you'll find they either worship a man, or they worship a woman, or they worship an idol. Yeah. Or they worship yeah. an animal. Or they will give God human attributes like getting hungry, tired and thirsty. So I would say uh, that basically um, the Christian religion is a false religion because they tell you to do good things like Christianity, give charity, help the poor, help the elderly, like my family, a Jamaican Christian family, um, are converted to Islam. But they end up, they worship a man like Jesus, who prayed to God, who ate, who slept, and was a baby and was looked after by Mary. So obviously I believe that Godwin has gone from worshipping the Creator to worshipping the creation because Jesus was a baby and was looked after by Mary. And I don't believe God is looked after or eats or sleeps or poos or wets himself. And I believe that Godwin should come back to the worship of the Creator and come away from the worship of the creation. Okay. And I end with this, very short thing, thank you for your time. Mm. I'll give you God's description in the Quran. Say God is one, the absolute, the eternal. He doesn't give birth and he wasn't born and there's nothing comparably to him. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I, I pre remind me your name, is it Hussein? Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate Hussein wanting to have this conversation. The actual discussion we wanted to have is regards to the most important doctrine in Islam. Okay? Sometimes we have, you know, we have these conversations, we're just kind of talking past each other, and we're talking about all different things that don't really matter. Now, according to Islam, the most important doctrine is a doctrine called Tawheed, which is the oneness of God. Okay? And so, he's agreed that we're going to look into this according to the Quran and according to the Hadiths, and also according to the Creed. But all, is, all Muslims, if they are genuine Muslims, they agree to creed, especially being a Sunni Muslim, which I'm assuming you are a Sunni Muslim, yeah? Okay, so the question I want to first ask, if you want to have, it, have more of a discussion, let's do that. So the question I'm asking is this, you have Allah, okay? And you have Allah's words, right? Now, according to the, um, the, the, the general kind of orthodox teaching of Islam is that Allah's word is eternal, um, Allah's word speech comes from him. The Quran is Allah's words given to Muhammad as divine revelation from Allah. Okay? And so, the question I want to ask you is this. On the judgment day, you have the, the hadith that explicitly states that Allah's word will come, or the Quran, he will, the Quran will come and make intercessions for the for the believers, okay? So in other words, the Quran and included and the surahs will come and they will intercede for those who do not, for those who believe, okay? So the question I want to ask you is this. The Quran, if the Quran is coming to intercede with Allah, then the Quran, by default, must first of all know who all the, all the believers are, that's number one. And number two, who is speaking? Is it Allah? Allah's word speaking, or is it the Quran, which is Allah's word speaking? Who speak? Who is actually speaking? Do you understand the question? Can you can you respond to that? Okay, you have a misunderstanding. Allah can speak, mm. and Allah is eternal. Yes, and He's always been able to speak. Okay, that's what it means by that. I don't know what your misunderstanding of it was, but should I read the hadith to make it clear? No, I know, I understand, I understand. Do you I understand? Have you read this hadith hold before? On, hold on, first of all, yeah. first of all. I don't think you're a scholar on hadith, yes? Wait, well, you, we can both read the hadith, no, no, right? But what I'm trying to say to you... Are you a scholar on hadith? Hold on. You don't want me to speak to you. Okay. Go on. Can I speak as a Muslim? Okay, so what I'm trying to say to you... There's nothing about Allah. Allah's word is not some entity, yes, that exists. Allah 
our creator, speaks. And he's always been able to speak from eternity. Yeah, so when we say Allah's words, when Allah speaks, he speaks. So, okay, as for the, um, uh, the, Quran, the, the word of Allah, it just sees him with someone. There's, no, there's, no, there's um, no thing about the word of, the, of Allah's word, it just sees him for anyone. This is just some made up hadith you might have heard. Can I read, okay. can I read the hadith? Let, let, can I, let okay. me finish it you can read, yes? Okay. And therefore, and Where'd therefore, and therefore um, <laughs> the only thing is that, that the people do is that on the day of judgment, how much Quran you memorized in this world will raise your level the, the more you recite and the more sacrifice you did. But as for the Quran intercede, I believe you have a misunderstanding of it. And what I would say to you, mm. look, you have to understand that you have hadith is a science. Yes? And there's weak hadith and there's strong hadith. And I don't believe you're a, science, you're a scholar of hadith, so you know the difference between a strong hadith or a weak hadith. Yes? Okay. I, okay, can I respond to that? Um, I'm reading from Sahil Muslim. Yeah. Sahil means authentic. Okay? Sahil Bukhari is also authentic, the Sahil, yeah? yeah. And Sahil Muslim, I'm going to actually um, um, read what the actually Sahil Muslim says. Okay. So, Abu Umaha Umar reported, I heard the messenger of Allah saying, Read the Quran, for it comes as an intercessor for its reciters of a day of resurrection. This is Sahil Muslim 9, 991. Yeah. Let me just read so, um, some of Sahil Muslim again. I heard the messenger of Allah saying, yeah. the Quran and its people who applied it will be brought on the day of resurrection, preceded with Surah Al-Baqarah, okay, Surah 2, and Surah Al-Imran, arguing on behalf of those Applied, uh, applied them. Sahil Muslim 992. And it is, I can go on and on and on, and it also says, speaks about, let me just read you this, this verse from Al Timidu. It says this Narrated Abu Huraira that the Prophet said, Indeed, there is a surah in the Quran of 30 ayats which intercedes for a man until he's forgiven. It is the surah Tabakara. I can't read that, so it's a long word. Altimidi 5422891. So here you have these surahs that are going to make these intercessions for unbelievers until they're forgiven. So you have a surah interceding for an unbeliever to Allah until. So in other words, it's not like immediately Allah says, okay, we're gonna let these believers into, into paradise. He's saying until Allah forgives them. So the question again is, who is speaking? Because you say there's only one, one okay. God. First of all, oh, hold on, let, let me just finish. Did you ask my question? Yeah, let me, let me, let me finish the question. Okay. So you say Allah is one, but yet you have a Quran who, first of all, has to be omniscient. He also has to be omniscient because he knows all the believers. He knows who to intercede for. He's omni he has to be omnipotent because you have to be all powerful to know that. Yeah. You have to be uh, omnipresent because you have to be everywhere to know all the believers that are not, that do not, that, are not, um, that he has to intercede for. So the question I'm asking you is, who's speaking? Is Allah speaking to himself? Is Allah's surah, or is, um, is surah speaking? Or is it Allah's, um, or is the Quran speaking? Which one is the word of God and who's speaking? We okay. want to understand first, this, clarify. Okay, first of all, this interceded, this hadith that you read to me, first time I heard it, so I have to go and check them. That's, that's fine, that's, that's okay. As long as you, I, that's, that's honest, honest, honest with you. The yeah. whole thing is, yeah. is that, um, do you believe, yeah, because it could be metaphorical or literal, you have to look at, I have to go and research on how the companions looked at these verses, yes? These hadiths, yes? How they understood them? Well, what the hadiths are, if, and I'm pretty sure you agree with me, the, the hadith, the yeah, exactly, the hadith, okay, exactly, is um, it's explaining, bringing context to some of the so-called, because remember the Quran is supposed to be perfectly explained, however, you still need hadiths to explain the Quran, which doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, the Quran, the hadith is explaining the Quran, it's yeah. bringing the context. So these are to be taken literal. Okay, no, but, but you can't say it's literal because, for, exa for example, the, the companions understood them hadiths in a certain way, yes? Okay, you said you haven't read the verse. Hold on. Can Hold you explain how they read um, What yeah. I'm trying to say to you is, is that the companions, when you hear hadith, the Prophet said something, yes? The companions understand in a way, metaphorically or physically, yes? Yes? Do you, do you What's be, your question? What's your question? Be clear. I'm saying to you, yeah. look, the whole thing is me, I don't lie. If I don't know something, That's I, fine. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm yeah. not going to call you a liar. Yeah. 
So what I'm trying to say to you, I have to go and refer to how the companions understand okay. this verses. But I'm saying this, you cannot use this as an argument. For example, because, for, for, for example, in your Bible, there's many things in your book. Can we deal with the Tawheed? I'm answering it. Look, okay. why are you not afraid of me speaking? Because what well, we don't want, we don't want you to divert oh, oh, and change the subject. Me, me. We can have a conversation about the Bible afterwards. No, if you, you don't I understand, if you don't understand you, what this I'm, is, you which why. I appreciate you said, that's fine. I'm what I'm saying to you is this, is that you, if you say it's, it's not, it's metaphorical or it's figurative, can you please show me in context oh, how I it's... I don't answer for myself. I look at how right. the companions understand it and then I answer. Right, so... Hold on, do you know why? Do you know why? Well, you haven't read hold this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you know why? Yeah, I haven't heard of it, but I'm not going to give my own answer. I'm not going to think of my own head and answer. Okay, yes? so you're not, the, you're not, you're not knowledgeable on, in this, in this on, area. Because, for example, I've heard of the... The um the Quran interceding, but the way some of the, the okay that's good. Let's on, start with hold that. Hold on, hold on. That's good. But the way they, it was explained by the prophet and the companions mm -hmm. is that meaning that someone depending on the amount of the, the Quran they've memorized, the more they recite in the day of judgment, it will intercede for them and and move them up levels in Jannah, paradise. Yes. So that's the form of it. So the Quran intercedes no, for the. They, they will recite it. Yes. And I will allow, allow the sources that I have memorized to raise them in Jannah. This right. is what I've understood. So the whole thing is these verses that you said to me, I haven't heard, heard before. So rather than call you a lie, I'll check them out. Yes. Right. And whatever the Prophet and the companions I understand, of it, I'll take it. And I don't care what anyone thinks. But I that's say fine. To you, I appreciate that. I say to you, right. you cannot use this as an argument against me. I'll tell you why. I just did. <laughs> no, it's not an argument. <laughs> According to your sources, <laughs> it's an argument. No, do you know why it's not? For example, in your Bible, you have verses. So you go to the Bible. Hold on. It always happens. No, do you know why? Because uh, you can't use an argument, you can't use a gun against me that could shoot you in the foot. Okay. Can you? Let, let me no, tell no, you why. No. Let me tell you why it's a no, poor you're argument. Fair now. You're not being fair. No, no, I'm telling you why it's a poor argument fair. for you to go to the Bible. Not, let me speak, please. Let's not we argue. can talk about the Bible. I, okay, listen, I promise you, we can talk about the Bible. That's not no, a problem. No. What I'm saying to you is this because this is what always happens. We have conversations and it diverts to something no, completely you know different. Why? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because it's for example, there's um there's something called have you ever heard of the, the two koku um uh, fallacy? Basically it's, it's it's like a kettle calling a pot black. So perhaps say I say I'm totally wrong. Say the Bible's a false book and you know and my belief is totally false. Just because my book is false, it doesn't necessitate, necessitate that your book is true. Okay. So your argument that, okay, well, I can go to the Bible and I can prove this, that, and the oh, other. No. What you need to affirm is okay. why is it that you have Allah okay, who's is. meant to be speaking his word and his word, the Quran, is speaking back to him. And then you just have the surahs who's speaking. Who's speaking? You have three, you have three omniscient entities all speaking to each other. Okay, let me explain to you. I, I believe, yes. I, I believe, for example, that Allah can give... There's many different situations in the Quran and Surah where Allah can give an animal or a tree or something, give the power to speak. And I'm sure you have this in your book as well, yes? A creation, something that like that doesn't normally happen. Miracles. So Allah give His word. Oh, he give, he give His oh, word power. Not His word. I'm not talking. About, but that's what He says. Isn't I'm, it? I'm not talking about His word. I'm saying to you, do you believe? I'm not saying that these souls were given life and they were physical, literal things and they intercede for people. I'm not saying that. What does this say? Hold on. I don't take your opinion of that. No, I'm giving you the sources. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Are you the prophet? No, I'm giving you the sources. Hold on. I'm giving you. The, the, I'm giving you your sahils. Okay. This is what you're gonna. You don't okay, agree with this. Example, for example, in your book, yes. See, now, now you're going to the Bible. This is what I'm gonna show you. It double, always happens. This is what I'm gonna show you double standards. Why will you do oh, this? Do you know why? Why are you afraid to do this? You know what? You know why I don't have double standards? You're not gonna make me ashamed about my religion. No. Hold on. We're asking. We're, we're asking you. Why is two? Why is Allah's word speaking to Allah's word? What is your name? It don't make no sense. I forgot your name. Godwin. Godwin. Yeah. You are not embarrassing me. You're not ashamed. I'm trying to. I'm Hold trying on. to ask Hold you a question. But you seem like you're a bit reluctant, no, a bit afraid, no, no, no. or maybe you're not knowledgeable, which is fair enough. You, you, I'll go ask Monsu. Hold on, listen, listen, yeah. listen, 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 listen. You know what, listen, in my religion, go on, go on, go on, go on. You know, there's nothing you're going to bring to me to make me ashamed, embarrassed, or so forth, I'm speaking. Why do you feel which I'm embarrassed? I'm speaking. You? It's not very Christian of you. There's nothing you're going to say to me to make me embarrassed, ashamed, or this, that, and the other. Which so, I understand. So therefore, which I understand. I've only ever heard if we read and so, and so forth, that when the Quran will intercede for someone is on the Yom Kiyama, on Yom Kiyama, the Day of Judgment, yes? That someone will read it and it will raise them in levels in Jinnah based on how much Quran on. Now you're coming to say to me, oh here's a hadith that says this, here's a ayah that says this. Yeah, it says that the Quran will intercede. Now I don't give my own understanding. 
I go back to the Quran and Salaf and see how the Prophet said it and how the companions understood it and then I'll give my view. And I don't care if you... I, well, I just helped I you finish. up. I, I just helped you I up. <laughs> I gave you the, 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 the companions. See what I'm saying? I All right. So I don't go to your understanding of freedom, Prophet Muhammad Sadiq. I go to how the Prophet and the companions spread it. For example, I could go to your Bible. And your Bible says, <laughs> yes. And I could... He's, a, if he's I, afraid to do this. If I went to be, I'm not afraid. What am I ashamed of? Okay. So I let me ask you this. Let me I, ask you this. No, You've been waffling for a while. Hold on. Let, let me ask you Godwin, this. You said you okay, go, 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 go. This go. is why I never... But, but summarize because we said we said we're going to yeah, do two minutes each. This is each. why I've never spoken to you because we said, to we said we're going to do two this minutes each. I've been but you haven't gone on for quite a while. Go summarize what you said. You can speak for as long as you want when you want to. No, we're not going to do I'm that. Not, summarize, okay. summarize what you said. So the point is this: I could go do to your this. Bible, for example, in your Bible. <laughs> they always run to the Bible. He's scared. He's scared of his. He does it all the time, man. For example, we just pulled out breath from my thing. I'm not ashamed. And the yeah, okay, okay, lift that again. The, the conversation is about Tawheed and Islam, not about the Bible. So go, you go into the Bible and you're going to help your kids. You're going to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, it will just change the subject. Just do it. Deal. When we, when we finish with Tawheed, okay, okay, all the Christians here, is Tawheed a doctrine? It's our heed according to Islam. Okay. Is that a doctrine of the Bible? No, no. It's, a, it's in Islam. So we're talking about our heed in the Islam. Yeah. But then now he's trying to divert saying if I go to the Bible. Let's deal with this first okay. and then we'll move on okay. to other, script, other Actually, verses. It's not even an argument. It's not an argument. You couldn't even use that argument. I don't believe so far from the information I know that the Quran... The okay, let me I tell you something you I'm believe. speaking, I'm speaking. <laughs> Bro, we need to do this two minutes, two minutes. Let's just do two minutes, two minutes. Do you know what, this is why, this is why there was no point having a conversation. Because two minutes. as Christians, yeah. you have no manners. Two minutes, two minutes. I'll, I'll, I'll give you two minutes to speak. No problem. Two minutes to speak. This is why there's no point. Hold on. Speak two minutes. Again, that's why I didn't want to speak to God because he has no manners. Even though he has the Holy Spirit in him, he has no manners. Okay. Just let him talk. So therefore, I've never heard that on the third judgment. <laughs> The Quran or the Surahs are going to become a literal entity and start speaking and interceding for people. So, based upon my knowledge, yes, Allah said uh, that you shouldn't speak without knowledge. So, therefore, I go back and see how the Prophet said it. I see how the companions said it. And when I understand it, I go for what they say. But as far as I know, it's not that. The only way it will intercede is that the Surahs you memorized in this life will raise you in general. Okay, but he can't argue with me. If I, if I had the same justice as him, I could say in your book, it says that Jacob was wrestling with God. And God said to Jacob, let me go, let me go, because he had him in a lock. Yes? And he said, let me go, let me go. And Jacob said, I will not let you Don't go touch until me. you bless Don't touch me. me. And then God, and then Jacob said, okay, and let God go. And God said, now I will name you Israel, because you wrestled with man and one, and you wrestled with God with man. God and one. How much time? Now, God? now, is that Before literal? Did time, Jacob literally wrestle with God? Ask him if he's listening to Watch, the talk. Answer the question. Okay. You got 45 seconds. Okay. You want to continue? Okay. No, you can answer the question. Did Jacob literally go to God? Because. No, no. Because, let me finish then. Because if Jacob did literally. Because if Jacob did literally wrestle with God and God said, let me go, even if it was literal, which I'm not saying it is. You ain't got a leg to stand on to answer me that question. If okay. Jacob wrestled with God and said, let me go, let me go. I don't believe that this saw is. I'll check it out and see how the prophet and the companions did. You can't ask me anything about swords coming alive. If a man could be God in a wrestling match, how can you ask me that question? Okay, have you finished? Okay, so we've got two minutes. Allahumma. Okay, what verse is so, according, uh, so according to Genesis. Genesis. So our, our discussion, our debate, today was about Islamic Tawheed, okay? I've asked him a question over and over again, which, you know, fair enough, he was humble enough to say he hasn't read these hadiths before, and so he's not sure about these hadiths, which is fair enough. But then I gave him the hadiths, and then I gave him um, the sources of his companion, and he still doesn't agree with the hadiths or the or the um, yeah, sources that I'm giving him. Give him. You. Hold on. So have to no, okay, so. Yeah. Wait, wait yeah, now, 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 you, now you interrupt me. Now you interrupt me. Listen, okay. Listen, and, so, and, so, I, and so, and so, and so, and so, I'm gonna, see, see, the Islamic Dawah team, they will always, stop the time, stop the time. Islamic Dawah team, they're interrupting us again because they're freed, they're freed, but they cannot answer the question. Okay, so let's go back to what we're discussing, all right? 
We, are, we have no problem discussing the Bible. We have no issues. We know that God incarnated in the flesh and he came numerous, time, numerous times to man on earth. We know that. We know from Adam. We know with Joshua. We know that. But, you see, now you cut me off. Now you cut me off. Okay. We know that, right. So, so, so let's, but let's go back to the discussion. Let's go back. The discussion is this. We're asking my Muslim friend here, if Allah is one, why have you got the Quran? which is supposed to be Allah's word, okay? Why have you got the Quran who's able to conversate, to speak to Allah? No, who is, who, no, yes, it says it, 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 it there. Hold, stop interrupting, my friend. So, you, the, the Quran, the hadith I read, it, it says clearly that the hadith, the, um, the Quran will come and make intercessions on behalf of the reciters or the believers of the Quran. And it says that he will be, um, he'll, he will be dis uh, interceding until they are forgiven. Yeah. So who is that Quran interceding to? He's interceding to Allah. No. So the question I've asked him is who, 20 seconds, who is he speaking no. to? Is it, is he speaking, is, that, is the Quran like speaking to, the, to Allah? Or is Allah speaking to the, to the, to the, to the hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so what I'm asking is this, five seconds. So can you answer that question directly? If you can't, I'm going to ask you another thing. Another question. I can't believe that shit, man. I can't just know that to you. Brother, brother, no, okay. Okay, so are you going to answer the question? So hey, 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 yeah, Muslims, they don't want to answer the question. All right. They don't want to, they don't want to answer the question. And so they, they, they're diverting. Okay. Now it's a very clear question. Will you, will you answer? Will you answer? Hold on, you answered. You said to me, you said to me that according to this hadith, you go, you know, you said you brought me some hadiths so I've never heard in my life. You've never heard of them. So why don't you go and look them up? Can I finish? Why don't you go and look them up? Okay, go finish, finish, finish. Is he because you got two minutes? Give me two minutes. He brought me some verses yeah, from the Quran. He said the Quran's going to intercede and it's going to speak for people. And he's like, no. Yes. I that's said, not. I said, I said, I said, I said to him, I said to him. Is the hadith? I showed him the hadith. Oh, you're speaking over me. Very Christian of you. He's talking. You don't stop him from talking. Can I speak? Can you, can you, can you tell him to stop talking? Can I speak? Can I speak? Can I answer your question? Answer the question. Okay, so he asked me a question. Hmm. He said to me that on the Day of Judgment, the Quran or Allah speech or something is going to intercede for something. Right. He brought some hadith. Yes. I said, I've never heard this hadith before in my life, yeah? So the whole thing is this. this. So I said to him, I haven't heard this hadith before. The only intercession I know about the Quran is that on your, the Day of Judgment, people are going to recite the Quran that they've memorized in this world and it's going to raise them in levels in Jannah and so forth. As for this, I've got to check out. And I said, I will give the answer that the prophets gave and the companion gave and I will not be ashamed with it. And I said to you, you can't use this argument with me. I said, you can't use this argument with you. If you think it go, if you think it's strange, or you think it's odd or something. Because in your book, you have Jacob wrestling with God. And Jacob put God in a headlock, yes? And said, God said, let me go, let me go. And Jacob, you know this verse? Uh, are you lying? Can I are you lying? Can I finish? In a headlock? Can I finish? He holded him. He overpowered him. He holded him? He overpowered him. Don't try, am I lying? Don't try and play games, God. Okay, okay, he, so. <laughs> Yeah. Man, Go man, finish, no, sorry, finish your, finish your woman. Until you look at Yeah, well, really, if you've got a scripture there, if you've got a scripture, bring it did, out there. Did we'll, we'll, do, we'll do that in a minute. Did Jacob but what I don't want you no, to do no, no. is to I avoid what I'm it. asking you. I answered it. Okay, so you don't know. I didn't be around the bush, I answered it. So now, biggest, hold on. Yeah, do it. Yeah, hold on. What you're not doing, what you're not doing. I'm not ashamed of my religion. Don't understand. It doesn't matter. So It's not about being ashamed. It's about getting to the truth. I'm ashamed. It's about getting to the truth. So, what I'm asking you, I never heard of it. Okay, so. I said to you, I never heard of it. That's and fine. I said I will research it. That's fine. And I said whatever the prophet says and the companions right. are come back. Can I ask you? I can I have it finished? Your time's up. 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 Because in your religion, God wrestled with a man, and the man overpowered him. And Jacob said, I will not let God, go, God Almighty go unless you bless me. And God Almighty, the creator of all this, says, okay. And God said, I will name you Israel, because you wrestled with man and one, and you wrestled with God and man. So God overpowered a man. Okay. Yeah. Can we overpower? Uh, yeah. I'm yeah. 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 WWF. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. He knows what we believe. You see, the problem is this. The problem. Uh, no, yeah. Hold it. Hold it for me. The problem is this. Okay. We know that's what Christians believe. We believe that God, unlike Allah 
can be incarnated in a man and he can come in a physical form. We know he did that with Adam. He walked with Adam. We, so you cut me off now. We know he walked with Adam. We know that he made Abraham. We know that um, he came uh, to Jacob and we know that he can come in, in, in the human form. We don't have a problem with that. What I don't want him to do, okay, is to divert, is to change the subject. That's why I haven't gone to the scripture to analyze it properly. Now, what I'm asking is this, is if Allah's words, okay, let's go back to what we're talking about. The, 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 the debate or the discussion is in regards to Tawheed in Islam. I answered it. Okay, so, so the question I'm asking, I'm asking you another question now. No, right? I answered your question. Hold on, no, hold no, on, hold on, hold on. Five shots. You're interrupting me, you're interrupting me. I interrupting your question. Me. Okay, so the question is this, okay? Allah's word is eternal, right? We could, you, you would agree with me that Allah's word is eternal. So, no, I wouldn't. So Allah's word is not eternal? I'm not in how you understand. He's a kafir. <laughs> hold on, let me speak. Hold on. Is, Allah, wait, is Allah's word eternal? Hold on. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. No, this is a joke. Let me explain. He's saying Allah's word is not eternal. Let me explain. Let me explain. It's, not, it's, not, it's my time to talk. No, 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 no. You're not going to no, no, misquote no, no, me. No, no, no. You're not going to keep my No, 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 no. You're not going to take your trinity and wrap it around my Islam. No way. Use your two minutes to come back. Use your two minutes to come back. So, they say... This is why I never debate with him. He says... Allah's word is eternal. Okay, that's what you, that's what yeah, Sunni, authentic, Islamic, meaning that it has, it was never created. That's what it means by eternal. It was never created. Okay, so I'm asking you this. Okay, how is it? When was that word? How is it that the word can be given or sent to Muhammad if it always existed? If there was no beginning. It never had no it had no time when it began. It was never created according to your creed. When that word was given to uh, um, to Muhammad, why? How is that word eternal? That's what I'm asking you. Okay, just to recap. I let him answer. Just, just on, to recap. Yeah. No interruptions. I want to interrupt you. Go on, go on. No interruptions. Yeah. So recap. Yeah. He just admitted. I said to you, even if it was what you think, which it isn't, because I never heard that before. You can't think it's odd because, like I said, and he agreed, he confirmed that he skipped out the wrestling part. But yeah, Jacob met God and they met God, they didn't just meet. They didn't just meet. Jacob overpowered him. I said, I will not let you go, mad fam. Mind you, I will not let you go until you bless me. I go, said, okay, 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 I'll let you go. And then until you bless me, and bless me as well. Yes? And then God said, I will name you Israel. Jacob, because you wrestled with man and one, and you wrestled with God and one. So I man overpowered him and over uh, over strengthened <laughs> God, the creator of the sun, the moon, the planets, the stars. Uh, Ask him, does he believe? Hold on, he does believe it. He said it. He just skipped. He just skipped the wrestling part. He said, yeah. So Jacob met God. Then it's just me. He overpowered him. He robbed him. How much time? So the whole thing is this. So the whole thing is he believes it. He believes God. How can you ask me about God's speech and you believe? Jacob overpowered God, and God, Jacob wouldn't let go of God until he blessed him. Anyway, there's not two things like Allah's speech is here and Allah's hair. They're not two separate entities. Allah is eternal and he's always been able to speak simple. Understand it, accept it or not, finished? that's what we believe. Done. Okay. You've still got, still got time. So you've got time. I finished him. He's okay. in the bin already. Okay. Don't interrupt me. 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 Okay. Finished him. Okay. So, once again, we've asked the question. What's that noise? We've asked you that question. The question which you say that you will not. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me just say this. We've asked you a simple question. It's very simple. You, you believe that Allah's word is eternal, okay? The initial question I asked you is, if Allah's word is eternal, how is it that Allah's word, which is the Quran, which you agree is the Quran, can come and then in a particular period in time, right? An eternal word come in time, in a particular time, and then make intercessions for, unbelief, for, for, the, for the reciters of the Quran until they believe. So now he's in, he's making intercessions for those for he's making intercessions for the believers for the believers. Now what's interesting about this, as I said, is that according to according to you as a Sunni Muslim, you said that no, his word is not eternal. Let me read what your creed says. Let me see read what your creed says. And this is what uh, Muslims believe. The creed it says this: the Quran. No, just wait, just wait, you're not, you're not debating me. The Quran is the word of Allah. 
it came from him as speech without it being possible to say how. He sent it down on his messengers as revelation. The believers accept it as absolute truth. They are certain that it is in truth the word of Allah. It is not created as he said it was. Um, it is not, he said it was eternal. Wait, uh, don't, don't cut me off, don't cut me off. Don't, don't cut me off. He said it is, it is not created as it is the speech of human beings and any, anyone who hears it and claims that it is human speech has become an unbeliever. His, brother, why are you cutting me? Why are you cutting me? It says anyone who, who says that it's been, it's, it has been created like this guy just said, it says that he's become an unbeliever. Allah warns him and censors him and threatens him with fire when he says, Exalted is he, I will burn him in fire. When Allah threatens with the fire, those who say this is just human speech, we know for certain that it is the speech of the creator of mankind that is totally unlike the speech of mankind. Okay, so, okay, that's fine, I'm fine. I just want you to deal with that. You said that, you see, it's not eternal. You Can you deal with that? You just lied. Okay, so tell me oh, how oh, I lied. Oh, tell oh, me oh, how it's not oh, eternal. Oh, oh, oh. You said that I tell said the Quran is created. Did I say that? Okay, is the Quran eternal? Hold on. Is the Quran eternal? Hold on. Okay. Is the Quran eternal? So stop lying on me. I never said that. Okay, last week. I never said that the Quran was created. I believe. As a Sunni, try, someone trying to follow the Salaf, yeah. yeah? Basically, that the, the, the speech of Allah, the claim of Allah, yeah, is the attribute of Allah. It's not created. It's not created. Allah has always existed and He's always been able to speak. He has spoken to Moses, He has spo spoken to Musa, He has spoken to Noah, he has, he's, he's spoken to Muhammad, He has spoken to Isa, He has spoken to different prophets at different times. On the day of judgment, He will speak to us. Yes? I never said that the Quran is created. You yes. said it's eternal. Hold on, hold on. Allah has always existed eternal. and he's always been able to speak. If you don't understand it, I can't make it any simpler for you. Done. Anyway, all is, I... it, is, it, is, the, is the Quran eternal? Yes or no? What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> Allah is eternal and he's always been able to speak. If the Quran, is, I'm asking you, is the Quran, is the Quran eternal? Wait, 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 wait. He just said, he just said, listen to it, listen to it, forget two minutes. I'm asking you, I'm asking you directly, he's finished, he's finished. Two minutes is up, he's two minutes is up. Okay, is the Quran okay. eternal? Let me, let, yeah. Baba, let me Baba, is the Quran let me, eternal? Let me explain to you. Yeah. Yeah, listen, I'm going to ask you a question. Let me explain to you. Is the Quran I'm eternal? You what the, the do, yeah, the yeah, yeah, no, I want you. Yeah, you tell me. Is the Quran eternal? The Quran is the speech of the. Uh, uh, of, the, the Quran is the speech of Allah yeah. and it is not created. So, by default, we we'll work it out. Is the Quran eternal? Allah is eternal and he's always been able to speak. Speak. Wait, wait. I'm asking a direct question because it's linked to my question. Well, the speech of Allah forever. is eternal. Okay. He's always been yeah. able to so speak. you now agree. Okay. So exists. when you rewind this, earlier on, he said that the Quran is not eternal. No, I said it wasn't crazy. Earlier, no, no. Earlier on, he said it's not. No. Earlier on, he said the Quran is eternal. Why me? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me to So him. if no, the Quran is. Two minutes. No, 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 no. It's not. You're no, two minutes he, he said that. He so never if. Said that. He never said that. If the Quran. No, he never said that. He'll always be with us Muslims. Baba, what's he saying? He's still got 30 seconds. Go. I still. And you. So you've been. He said three seconds. No, three seconds. He wasn't. 30 seconds. Give him 30 seconds. Hold on. 30 seconds. What I'm saying to you is this. Allah's always existed. You can't say that. From the beginning of when Allah, Allah existed, he was speaking because we don't have knowledge of that. But Allah has always been able to speak. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? It's clear. From when Allah, it's clear. Allah has always existed. Right. I'll, I'll okay. Yes. Yeah. So the whole thing is, is that Allah speaks when He wants to. I haven't been there from the beginning of eternity to say Allah was speaking. Right. right. Okay. Eternity. Okay. So the whole thing is, I'll tell you something. Hold on. I do not believe. Yes. Why? I do not believe that. A lot of speech and his entity are two different things. See what, what my friend, my, my friend Hussein, what my friend Hussein um, has made a big error today is this: is I did not ask him if Allah is eternal. I asked him if the Quran is eternal. Okay. Okay. Because if they can you stop cutting me off? Can you stop cutting me off? Because if the Quran is eternal, that means it was never created. That means it's always existed. No. But we have don't cut me off. But we have clearly Muslims or Muslims believe that there was a particular period in time when that Quran was sent, okay? They also believe that Quran was sent to, um, to Muhammad, okay? In a particular period in time, okay? Prior to that, 
the Quran, they have no evidence that the Quran existed prior to that. Second of all, you have this Quran who's given, into, who, who's sent on the Day of Judgment to give intercessions for unbelievers. This Quran must be omniscient. This Quran must know all believers. The Quran has the attributes of Allah. This Quran is actually dialogue with Allah because he's interceding on behalf of the believers until until Allah forgives him. Then you have um, Surah 2 and you have um, other surahs that will also intercede. And so what we have here is we have three different entities. But yet, but yet you have the Muslims who claim that Allah is one, Tawheed is one. And so what I'll say to this is, you need to leave Islam, you need to come to, you need to, come to Christianity, you come to Jesus, Jesus Christ, he is the one who can give you the truth. I don't believe God. The Bible says that Jesus so loved the world that he gave his only son for your life. Okay, can I speak that But today, Muslims have run to a false prophet called Muhammad and he deceived you with this Quran. Okay, come to Jesus.